Björn, um, can you tell me what you're doing here at Rio Plus 20? Uh, I, I represent a university uh, called the World Maritime University, which is a university of the International Maritime Organization. We have a special event here on the sustainability of shipping. I'm participating in that event, and I'm also working with the Brazilian, hopefully, Navy and other companies to recruit students to study in Malmö in Sweden, where our university is located. Did the event already happen or is it still going to happen? It, it happened a couple of hours ago, so it's just finished. I'm now relaxing afterwards. How was it? Can you explain me a little bit how was it? It was lovely. We had a panel of, of 10 speakers from uh, basically all over the world uh, talking about different aspects of, of shipping, what shipping does, how shipping is getting better, how shipping is important for mankind. You know, 90% of international trade of goods is by ships. We need it. If you stop shipping, you would stop the world functioning the way it's functioning today. So the event was great. We uh, had um, an hour and a half. We had 80 people in the room, a lot of leaders. Um, and uh, we had the Secretary General, Mr. Sekimisu of the IMO present, as well as the uh, Executive Secretary of the uh, uh, Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission of UNESCO, part of the panel. What is the main problem nowadays that involves shipping, like uh, about environmental problems? Well, the, the, pro the pro one problem for those who own ships is the economy is down. It's very, very difficult. It's very expensive. There's just a small margin. Uh, in terms of those who talk about shipping and what shipping can do, really shipping con does contribute to global warming by, by release of carbon dioxide. But carbon dioxide has been reduced tremendously uh, in, in the last uh, several years. The issue now is to reduce sulfur in the uh, bunk fuel uh, to make the ships even more environmental friendly. What kind of solution was discussed? Well, <clears throat> you're always trying to make things uh, more efficient, uh, cheaper in terms of the transport, less impact on the environment. On one hand, what you do is that you make you, you take your technology and your science and you make it better and better and better and then you come to a point where it's not enough to make it better. You need new inv innovation, you need new thinking and therefore a completely new solution. And I think that uh, this particular side event was aimed at uh, uh, f you know, uh, formalizing to the public that, that shipping is in, in a stage of we are looking for huge uh, solutions and we are doing very well. So if you compare, for example, per, per kilo uh, transported by a ship in an aeroplane, th there is no impact whatsoever of the ship relative to the aeroplane. And what are the expectations of these solutions really being done? Well, you know, I, I don't have the solution to all the questions. I wish I did. If, if I did, then I would uh, be, be telling you about them. What I want to do is that I want to attract uh, uh, smart, youngish people who are professional uh, to thinking about these issues and also to be able to recruit them to the university. That is, that is my goal in this one. And if I, in the process, help finding solutions, that is great too.